In 1948, the United Nations Truce Supervision Organization, UNTSO, was created to observe and maintain a ceasefire, which marked the end of hostilities between Israel and the Arab League. It was the first UN peacekeeping operation in the world. Currently, there are some 16 peacekeeping missions scattered across the globe. The International Day of United Nations Peacekeepers is a time to honor these brave men and women who have left their families behind to serve in some of the world's hotspots and to remember those who have died in service. More than ever before, women are signing up to serve as United Nations peacekeepers. In 2007, the first all-female battalion was dispatched to Liberia by the Indian government to assist this African nation in maintaining peace and security. Now their term has come to an end and they're preparing to return to India. After nine years of service, they'll be leaving a lasting legacy behind in Liberia. To inspiring Liberian women, to encourage them to join those entities, those operations that protect the nation. For that, we'll always be grateful. Following in their footsteps are the Mongolian female peacekeepers who were dispatched to South Sudan last year to help keep the peace and offer protection to women and girls displaced by the ongoing conflict. The first order of business was patrolling civilian sites where thousands of displaced people languished. Part of their mandate included providing health care to the displaced within the protection zone. But the work was challenging for these brave women who found themselves thousands of miles away from home in a foreign land. Nevertheless, Lieutenant Erdine Ochir El Chinkerlu and her team continue to give medical assistance whenever needed, especially to women and children. I am a woman and I am a mother and I am a peacekeeper's woman, and so I am really proud of my peacekeeper's job. These women have made a positive impact wherever they're dispersed, particularly in supporting the role of displaced women in building peace and protecting their rights. This report was produced by Mary Ferreira for the United Nations.